Hello and welcome to the Universe and to a brand new video. Now in the universe of Doctor Who, in the grand scheme of gods and demons, throughout the pantheon of monsters of bad gods and fake gods, demigods and would-be gods, there are two individuals, two beings from before time that stand out with seemingly limitless power. Doctor Who and Torchwood's version of Satan and his son, the Beast and Abaddon the Devourer. These are two demons that are explored in two very different stories but showcase the raw power of the unknown with the Doctor even clueless to many of the details surrounding the past and the powers that these creatures possess. However, that's where this video comes in, as I take a look into the past of the Beast and Abaddon from their imprisonment to their plots and defeats. This is the history of Doctor Who's Devils, the Beast and Abaddon. The Beast claimed to have existed before the universe, a claim the 10th Doctor found troubling to accept or consider as he believed nothing could have existed before the universe. However, the Doctor has been proven wrong before. Perhaps this was the Beast's way of describing the Dark Times which saw the birth of the Rachnos, the Great Vampires and other ancient races. The Beast had the appearance of a malicious orange humanoid with a face with skeletal features and ram-like horns. It was this appearance that became the template for every representation of temptation, destruction and lack of redemption, the manifestation of evil throughout the universe, entering the mythology of countless worlds from Earth to Deimos, even to the homeworld of the Daleks, Skaro. The Beast was arrogant and would often get caught up with gloating about his own supremacy and immortality and omnipresence in the minds of other beings. It had the power to see into the future, the Beast had this precognitive insight against others, foretelling twisted interpretations of what could happen with enough honesty preserved in his statements to keep anyone listening plagued with dread. The Beast had been at battle with the Disciples of the Light, the Disciples who themselves existed before the universe, bound it in giant chains and confined it to a pit in the centre of Croptor a planet in orbit around the black hole K37 Gem 5. If it ever tried to escape, the field holding Croptor in orbit would collapse and the planet would be sucked into a black hole, taking the beast with it. The planet's name, Croptor, meaning bitter pill. With the legends of the disciples claiming the black hole itself to be a demon that was tricked into swallowing the planet, but spat it out because it was poison. The impossible planet. In the year 43 K2.1, the Walker expedition of Sanctuary Base 6 came to Croptor, searching for the source of the energy that kept the planet from falling into the black hole. The Beast possessed Toby Zed via the text transcribed into a notebook. The Beast used Toby's body to go outside, but he was heard by Scooty, the base's maintenance officer. While investigating, Scooty discovered the possessed Toby standing on the planet's surface. At first, it tried to draw Scooty towards it by hypnotizing her, but she managed to break free. Angered, the beast through Toby began to use its telekinetic abilities to break the glass in the section Scooty was in. Scooty tried to escape but the doors had been sealed, trapping her. Soon the glass was shattered and she was pulled out into the vacuum. After Ida Scott and the 10th Doctor went down to investigate the bottom of the mine shaft, the base's Ood were taken over by the beast, causing them to attack the other members of the expedition. The surviving members and Rose worked to save the Doctor, stop the Ood and survive, with Danny coming up with a way of disabling the Ood, broadcasting a telepathic flare that will reduce their telepathic field to zero, disrupting their brains, travelling to Ood habitation to do so through the only access from where they were in the base, the airless maintenance shafts that run beneath the base. Jefferson was killed, and Toby was still possessed by the beast, unknown to the others. They activate the signal and plan to leave the base. Rose is adamant on saying that the Doctor can't be saved from the mineshaft along with Ida. The Doctor continues his journey into the darkness of the pit. He tells Ida how the devil crops up on so many planets and so many religions. Perhaps this is what the devil is, in the end, just an idea. The cable finally runs out with the bottom of the pit still out of sight, preferring exploration to waiting for death. The Doctor decides to detach the cable and fall the rest of the way, despite Ida's pleas that she does not want to die alone. Reassuring her, the Doctor falls and vanishes into the shadows. Just as the others regain communication with Ida, Rose is grief-stricken when Ida tells her that the Doctor has fallen. Zack, the base's acting captain, not willing to leave anyone else behind, knocks Rose out as they board the rocket to escape from the evil world. Down below, the Doctor awakens, the faceplate of his helmet smashed but he discovers that he can still breathe, an air cushion supporting his fall. In the rocket, Rose regains consciousness, just as it begins to launch. Despite her protests, and even when she threatens Zack with his bolt gun, Zack tells her that it is too late to turn back. Toby seems unusually amused that they have escaped, and when Rose begins to question the relative ease which they managed to escape the planet, given the various ways the beast could have killed them, he reprimands her questions with uncharacteristic viciousness. The Doctor finds ancient drawings on the walls of the pit depicting the story of a battle against the beast, its defeat and subsequent imprisonment. The drawings also depict two double-handed jars which are standing on separate pedestals some distance apart in front of him. He touches them and they light up, illuminating a section of the cave. The Doctor comes face to face with a gigantic demon chained to the cavern wall, the beast. 
The beast who previously communicated with the Doctor was intelligent and vocal, but the creature now towering before him appears to be a little more than animalistic nature. The Doctor deduces that what he is seeing in front of him is just the physical form. The mind, the idea of the devil, has departed, it's gone. The Doctor also realises, piecing it together from various clues, that the planet was the perfect prison. If the beast had ever freed himself, the gravity field keeping the planet balanced would collapse and the planet would fall into the black hole. The air was not provided by the beast, but its jailers, so the doctor could stop its escape by destroying the prison and then the planet. However, the beast had prepared for this. The loss of the gravity field would also mean the rocket would fall into the black hole, sacrificing Rose. The doctor doesn't believe in the acts of his enemies, but will always have faith in his friends. He destroys the jars, collapsing the gravity field. The planet begins to fall into the black hole along with the beast's body and the rocket. The body of the beast writhes, flames bursting from its skin. On the rocket, the ruins appear across Toby's skin once again, as the beast takes full possession of him. He breathes fire and angrily defies death, ranting that I can never be destroyed. Rose grabs Zack's bolt gun and aims it at the cockpit's front window, saying, Go to hell. She fires, shooting out the glass. As the air rushes outward, she unbuckles Toby, who is immediately blown into space towards the black hole. Zack raises the emergency shield, but they are still falling towards the black hole. In the base, as the planet now hurtles towards the black hole, the Ood, now free from the beast's control, huddle together nervously. Near the pit, Ida slowly falls to the ground, the last of her oxygen exhausted. As he stumbles away from the beast's burning body, the Doctor finds the TARDIS in a collapsing cavern. The rocket crew watches the planet vanish and brace themselves for death. Suddenly, everything becomes still, and to Zack's amazement, the rocket turns and heads away from the black hole. To Rose's delight, the Doctor's voice comes over the speakers, telling them that the TARDIS is towing them away. The Doctor was also able to pick up Ida, who will be fine aside from a little oxygen starvation, but unfortunately, had no time to save the Ood. The Beast was seemingly killed, however his legacy and legend lives on undying, the idea of the devil still plaguing countless cultures and civilizations. Also in a twist, it was later discovered that Satan had a child, Abaddon the Devourer. Abaddon was an ally of the light who fought against the dark. They fought together for centuries, travelling the dimensions until they were caught up in the Cardiff space-time rift. In 1876, the Cardiff rift was opened in Triteri, where Abaddon and the dark fought, though Abaddon was ultimately imprisoned beneath the rift and appeared to be defeated, but in reality, he faked the loss so that he could gain power. He also sent his servant, Billis Manger, to have the event recorded in a special diary, which would be used later to free him. Billis Manger contrived to trick Torchwood's Owen Harper into using the rift manipulator to widen the rift on purpose. This caused the rift to fracture, resulting in time slips worldwide. Many believed the end of the world had come. In Cardiff, more weevils came through the rift, as well as a Roman soldier and sufferers of the bubonic plague. Finally, as Manger had planned, the rift opened wide enough for Abaddon to escape. Billis's plan succeeded, and Abaddon was freed and rampaged through Cardiff, killing many with his shadow until the immortal Jack Harkness stood in his way. Jack being a fixed point in time after the events of the game station and the battle of the Dalek Emperor, many had seemingly limitless supply of life energy that overpowered Abaddon, the creature collapsing along with Harkness. Abaddon was killed, and Jack too. However, Jack took much longer than usual to return back to life, after the many deaths he sustained. Not much is known about Abaddon's origins, nor the beast himself, but that is one of the universe's greatest mysteries. There's always something we don't know. With all that considered, that is the history of Doctor Who's demons, the beast and Abaddon, two formidable foes that even in defeat achieved victory throughout the universe. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button, comment below and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Oh and by the way, I've noticed that I 90% of people who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. Come on guys, if you want to see more of my videos just hit that big friendly subscribe button, it will take you 2 seconds and cost you nothing, and in return you get loads of videos to watch, my little logo appears in your sub box, and it puts a smile on my face. If you don't want to subscribe right now, that is absolutely fine, but I'd love to hear how I could improve in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.